<clears throat> wow, this coffee is fucking terrible. <clears throat> All right, welcome to 2020. I'm your host, Pet, a demon dog with a penchant for disappearing without notice and taking its sweet time to upload fucking anything. I'm back at it again with my fave podcast list. Podcat? I'm back at it again with my favorite podcast list. I told myself last year when I came out with the first video that I'll only do horror podcasts. But, uh, holy shit, there's a lot of really good true crime ones that I've listened to in 2019, and I just need to talk about them. So, after the horror list I talk about, I'll tell you about my favorite true crime ones that you should listen to in 2020 as well. I'm also going to do honorable mentions and also tell you about the podcast that I'm planning on listening to in 2020 for myself. Alright, let's get started. <laughs> Holy hell, we broke the sound waves, baby. Alright, the first podcast I want to talk to y'all about is called The Passenger List. The Passenger List is about Atlantic Flight 702 that disappeared mid-flight between London and New York with 256 passengers on board. There's this character named Caitlin Lee. She's a college student who has a twin brother who was on that plane who also disappeared, and she's trying to get to the bottom of it. This podcast is super interesting. I like this specific part in the beginning that they started doing, which is like, oh, uh, we have we have a secret. It's kind of like um, a nod to all those conspiracy theory sort of videos on YouTube that's just like, listen to us, listen to us. Like, I don't know how to explain it, but... <laughs> That was a really shitty explanation, but it's so good and it's very like well scripted, very well read. I really enjoyed it. I don't think they're going to do a season two. I'm not sure, but um, I completely binged it all and I was on the edge of my seat the entire time and I was waiting very eagerly for the next episode to come out every time I listen to a new one. So I highly recommend it. It's really good. Another podcast that I want to talk about is called This Is Why We Drink. So this podcast has been around for a little while. It's uh, hosted by two people, Em and Christine. I really like it because it combines true crime, which Christine talks about, and paranormal, which is what Em talks about. They have a lot of inside jokes, and in the beginning, they do riff a little bit. So that's really fun to listen to. It's not like a crazy amount of riffing in the beginning. It's like a lot less than um, My Favorite Murder and a ton less than the last podcast on the left. The next one I want to talk about is a podcast called Let's Not Meet. This is actually an idea that I had when I started my channel. I wanted to talk about stories from the subreddit Let's Not Meet. I still do and I still will talk about it, but I also had a fleeting inkling of wanting to start a podcast about Let's Not Meet. I'm glad that this one started because Andrew Tate's voice is really great and easy to listen to. He talks about all sorts of stories from Let's Not Meet. If you don't know, Let's Not Meet is a subreddit and it's really interesting. It's a bunch of stories of people meeting humans or like things and they don't want to see them ever again because something weird happened, something scary happened. An interesting thing that Andrew Tate does with his podcast is he doesn't really change the gender of whatever he's talking about. Like if a story is from a girl or a woman, he has like a very obviously masculine voice and it's just like kind of funny and kudos for not being like, oh, I'm too much of a manly man to like read these stories because they're all very entertaining. So I really like it. There are some editing errors in the podcast, like he'll leave some sentences that he's like read and then will make a mistake and then he'll need to read it again. Like he'll leave that in. And I think that's very human. Um, it gives like the podcast a little bit more of an edge to it. But yeah, that's just something to keep in mind if you want to listen to like the absolute most professional podcast ever. But yeah, I think Andrew Tate's doing a good job. The next horror podcast that I want to recommend to you is one called Scare You to Sleep by host Shelby Scott. 
I have a medium crush on her. Her voice is really soothing and wonderful to listen to. She's a real sweetheart. Um, you can tell she gives a shit about the horror community. And she likes reading classics as well as new horror stuff. Um, at the end of some episodes, she'll like have a sound playing in the background or like just let it play to the end of the episode, whether that be like an ice in her drink or the rain. And a lot of people recommend sounds to her. So I really like that. I, I love listening to it. It's a sort of ASMR thing. And I'm fucking <laughs> obsessed with ASMR. So the next podcast is Be Scared. It's good too. It's a really mixed bag of random scary stories from the internet. Again, this is more of a scary story podcast, not like a scripted uh, episode based thing. And the last horror podcast that's new that I listened to in 2019 is called Earthbreak. Holy shit, it's got Jenny Slade in it. Um, Her voice acting is amazing. Her acting is amazing in general. I love her. It's about the post-apocalypse and like, it's so interesting and so fun to listen to. There's a lot of screaming in it. <laughs> so while at work, uh, I'll listen to it just in my headphones and like sometimes my coworker will like look at me because he'll hear a woman screaming in my ear. So if you're sensitive to that kind of thing, I would give this one a pass, but it's very, very interesting. It's such a good podcast. I love post-apocalyptic podcasts. The next thing I'm going to talk about in this episode is podcasts that I've listened to previously that I want to revisit in 2020 and have updated with a new season. Podcast I want to talk about is The White Vault has a brand new season. So The White Vault is this like series of found audio of scientists who go to mysterious places and in this season... It's about a young couple living in Rio de Janeiro. They get a call for an all expenses paid vacation to Patagonia. And like past White Vault seasons, um, this deals with found recordings, like I mentioned before, exploring mysterious places. I love it so much. They really make an effort to hire a diverse cast who speak in many different languages. There's a really funny character in this season that doesn't know Spanish and he's trying to learn Spanish and I can relate, big relate. <laughs> All right, so the next one I want to talk about is the No Sleep Podcast. This is something that I've talked about uh, last year and they're in between the 13th and 14th season and are doing this new thing called The New Decade. It's a really interesting series that they're doing before they start the new season. It's very unlike the regular uh, podcast. I quite enjoy it, but it might be triggering for some. It's a lot grittier, a lot darker. So give it a listen if you like that kind of stuff. Uh, one episode specifically that I liked from season 13 of No Sleep was episode 24, when they pay a homage to Grindhouse type movies. It's really funny, well scripted. The voice actor that I said last year that I really didn't like her voice, she's really grown and a lot less monotone than she has been in past seasons and you can tell her acting is a bit better which I like but yeah I really like that episode another episode that I really want to point out is the episode that they played live at the El Rey theater it was a blast to listen to it was really funny listening to a live episode um the audio recording was really well done you can hear the audience laughing with them. In some moments, they'd like either mess up or like miss their cue. And it's really funny how they like try to like cover it up. It's it's a really funny and good episode. So particularly No Sleep Podcast, if you were only to listen to a couple episodes, I really like episode 24 of season 13 and the live episode that they played at, at the El Rey Theater. So that one's really good. One podcast that I particularly want to revisit in 2020 is The Black Tapes. So I talked about this podcast last year in 2019. I discovered it when I was first getting into podcasts in like, I think 2016 or so, but it's really freaking good. It's a story scripted podcast. It's about this journalist who interviews this man called Dr. Strand, who's a giant skeptic, and he's he's giving like away a million dollars to 
whoever can stump him on like a paranormal thing and she finds black tapes in his office like black vhs tapes in his office these black tapes have like cases where he's not able to solve so it's very interesting i'm hoping they come back and if they don't that's fine i'll just like binge all the episodes let me take a little sippy sip wait let me do an asmr oh fuck yeah hey shut up all right another podcast that i really think is great that i've listened to previously and i want to bring more attention to because they're going very strong there's this podcast is still going really strong and it's called creepy so creepy is a podcast that brings like all together whatever they can find on <laughs> on the internet that's like weird and mysterious and gross and creepy and like scary which is something i want to do in this cha- on this channel but uh, Creepy is still something I regularly listen to. It's just gotten better with age. They've joined a new network called Bloody Disgusting, and I'm curious to hear what else is on that network. Um, <clears throat> a particular story y'all should listen to on Creepy is the gas station tales. If you don't want to listen to Creepy regularly and you just want to listen to like one story in particular, it's the gas station tales. It's very funny very Twins Peaks kind of like what's called Uncanny Valley sort of uh weird small town thing that ha- that's happening so I I freaking love it I I love Creepy it's just a really good podcast and I'm really happy that it's got, just gotten better and it's getting better and they're continuing to do <clears throat> a much better um job on it as the podcast progress so I'm I'm feeling a little bit proud of it and yeah Good job, Creepy. So that was <laughs> the six new horror podcasts that I want y'all to listen to in 2020 that I listened to in 2019. And also uh, four podcasts that I've revisited recently and that you should also listen to in 2020. Last year, I didn't really want to talk about true crime podcasts, but in 2019, there's been just so many good true crime podcasts that has come out and I just want to mention them. So here's the true crime related podcast that I've listened to in 2019 that you should listen to 2020. So number one is a podcast called Blood Ties. It's about a rich family and they're going on vacation. Their parents die in a plane crash. News about their dad's horrible past shows up and they have to find out what's the truth. So it leaves on a very juicy cliffhanger and I'm very excited for season two, but y'all should check it out. So the second true crime related podcast that I want you to listen to in 2020 is called The Mysterious Mr. Epstein. It's all about Jeffrey Epstein. It's really interesting and really fucked up how much shit rich people can get away with. It deals with a lot of sexual assault stuff, so please don't listen to it if that kind of thing bugs you. But I think it's really interesting and it just fucking blows my mind. So yeah, give the mysterious Mr. Epstein a listen to. It's really good. Another podcast that I think is amazing is called The Lighthouse. It's about a student who goes to Australia and mysteriously disappeared. Yeah, that's all. (laughs) Sorry, that was super, super, super um, short. But yeah, give that one a listen to. Another one I want to talk about is Not Another True Crime Podcast. It has three hosts. If you love just random, random true crime stories, stories about um, multi-level marketing, pyramid scheme related things, uh, stories about like social media influencers who do sketchy stuff, then Not Another True Crime Podcast is so good. And the chemistry these three folks have with each other is really nice. I like it a lot. Sometimes they get into little arguments because they don't agree with each other at times, but it's very important for people to have different views and to talk about them. I listened to one episode at first and I was very annoyed with it because I thought there was too much riffing, but I gave it another go and I really enjoyed it. So uh, give Not Another True Crime Podcast a listen. It's super awesome. Another true crime podcast that I thought was amazing is Hunting Warhead. So Hunting Warhead is a deep web podcast about a internet hacker who 
finds people who distribute child, you know, CP. So it's it's a good listen to. So <laughs> I feel like all these podcasts that I'm recommending in the true crime related podcast are a little hard for some folks to listen to. But if something about the description bugs you, don't listen to it. But yeah, uh, Hunting Warhead is really interesting. I find a lot of deep web, dark web sort of things really interesting. So if you do too, give it a listen. Another one that I like is Joe Exotic. It's uh, another amazing podcast from uh, Wondery. It's about this very, very um, flamboyant man named Joe Exotic who um keeps wild animals and like gets into a fight with like this animal rights activist and he does a bunch of sketchy things and it's so interesting and just like his character seems really funny it's a true story but like yeah give it a listen it's really good another podcast that i want to recommend is a new one that only has like a couple of episodes out right now called chasing cosby all about bill cosby and like that whole situation. It's very new. I've only listened to a couple of episodes so far and I enjoyed it. Again, it's crazy how much rich people can get away with. So yeah. Uh, and then the last true crime podcast that I want to recommend is called Mile Marker 181. It's about this girl from a small town who investigates a accident that this other girl has. And it's really sad and very interesting. I don't remember exactly like what the description is off the top of my head because she hasn't like updated in a long time. But like I found this podcast out from uh, My Favorite Murder and it's a really good listen. So that's the last true crime podcast that I want to talk about. So there's nine recommendations for y'all. A lot of good true crime podcasts that I want to recommend y'all listen to in 2020. A lot of these are still ongoing. Um, some of them have finished. So it's easy to just listen to in one go if you're at work or whatever. I want to talk about some co podcasts that are worth noting. Um, some honorable mentions and some that I didn't really like and a couple of podcasts that I want to listen to in 2020. One podcast that I want to mention is called The Heads of Sierra Blanca. I heard about this one on No Sleep and I was like, oh sick, a diverse cast and a uh, deep web shit. And I found that very interesting. It's about this, uh, this couple, I think they're investigators who stumble upon this um, video of a beheading on the deep web and they want to investigate it and I thought that was very interesting. I love the sound of that. I think that's a really good story. So I listened to it and there's one thing that I really can't stand and it's shitty fake crying on a podcast with like lots of weird passive aggressive interactions. Like the script is really shittily written like, they do a lot of stuff that's, like, not realistic in terms of interacting with other people. Like, they were just like, hey, let's make these two characters communicate. And one of them just get really passive aggressive to the other one for absolutely no reason. And there was a lot of, like, weird, like, badly acted crying. And I thought it was really shitty and sounded really bad. And I couldn't, like, listen to it. But I gave the entire thing a listen to. And a lot of it didn't make sense. Like, there was a lot of plot holes. And it was really shitty. <laughs> so, I I would avoid this podcast, The Heads of Sierra Blanca. I was just like, oh, sick. Like, this sounds really cool. Like, I love deep web stuff. Another podcast that's... This is going to be a really unpopular opinion. And feel free to recommend specific episodes to me in the comments or, like, whatever. But I really didn't like the last podcast on the left. Um, I listened to one episode and I know maybe I should listen to more because like it seems to me kind of relatively the same as um, not another true crime podcast because there's three hosts um, and they're mostly riffing but like I like it was really hard to listen to because like my ADHD brain's just like I have no idea what the fuck is happening on this in this episode and there was like a lot of like weird like jokes that <laughs> that were like okay this guy sounds like he's 14 but if you think I should give the last podcast on the left another listen let me know what your favorite episode is and I'll give it another listen I'm willing to have an open mind so 
Yeah, I didn't really like it based off of one episode, though. So, like, that could be boo on me because I just listened to one episode. So, so a couple of podcasts that I want to mention here um, that I want to listen to in 2020. So, one podcast that a person in my comments told me that I should listen to is something called Coast to Coast AM. So thanks, Kale Chips, for the recommendation. Uh, I'm going to give it a listen this year. So, And then another podcast that I'm going to listen to in 2020 is called The Dark Tome. I just found this podcast while I was writing the script for this video, and it's about a book that opens doorways to different dimensions. That sounds fucking sick. Haven't listened to it yet, but I'll update ya what I have. And yeah, there we go. That was uh, my horror podcast to listen to in 2020 uh, and like some true crime podcasts that you should listen to in 2020 recommendation list. I hope you enjoyed it. I know that this type of video gets a lot of, not a lot of views, but like in terms of the tiny little baby views on my channel, uh, a lot of you have watched it and liked my recommendations so i hope you like these ones too uh it was a really good year for true crime related podcasts i know that sounds shitty um like ooh yeah good year for true crime like a lot of good scripted horror podcasts a lot of good stories came out of 2019 so here's to 2020 if you like this video please give it a like uh give it a comment i'm really trying to like record videos and put them out on the internet but if like no one interacts with them that kind of sucks because I spend a lot of time on these videos. I got a new mic if you can like hear. <laughs> maybe it's better quality, maybe it's not but uh yeah. Um. It, so if you like this video please give it a like. It helps with like this fucking shitty algorithm that's happening. If you really love this video please subscribe to my channel. It helps me a lot and hopefully in the near future maybe even in 2020 i'll be able to do this full time because right now i have a full-time outside job and my dream is to like not work for anyone and just like do my own thing by creating content so make my dreams come true and i'll be making more content for y'all okay <laughs> bye